Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are fighting just a ridiculous army. I don't know if we can even do this. I really don't. I think we're probably going to get murdered. As we look at this army, it's just a stack of soul grinders. It's obscene. Um, and their missile strength is the real problem, you know? I mean, if they pile in and start dealing with me. I mean, it, it's single model entity spam, right? Or single entity model spam. It's trash, okay? This is an absolute trash thing. This is the sort of army you make if you're trolling, right? Um, so yeah, the AI is really taking the mick here. And Siege is already a nightmare to fight, just because the army abilities are so good at killing swathes of enemies, but there's no pinning down single model entities. Mass in Warhammer 3 is like basically broken. It's basically a suggestion. Sometimes units get completely bogged down, but the AI seemingly just turn off mass, like, on and off as much as they like, for their own units to just sort of wander through you. So this could go horribly wrong. It really could. But, I mean, we've got to give it a go, right? We certainly do. So here we are, in the Chaos Ways. Oh, this is going to hurt. It might have been better to wait for them to attack us, but honestly, like, there's no guarantee they were going to. Absolutely no guarantee. So, what's the range on these guys? I mean, it's pretty big. It is pretty big. We may have to bob and weave with Meow Yin a bit to try and bait out some of the attacks. But the problem is, like, the burning chariot of Zinj, 1.5k missile damage as well. Like, it's obscene the amount of damage these guys can do. That all these guys can do. Every single one. And just the spellcasters, generally. They have magic missiles they can use too. Everything does. Yeah, I have no idea. No idea how we're going to deal with it. What we have to sort of hope for, really, is that they um, act like idiots and prioritize all the wrong targets. Um, and you know what? I'm just going to put all the front line in one big blob. And is that all the melee units? Yes. Cool. Let's do that. Alright, let's put all our cavalry together. <laughs> Include the peasants, that's right. Um, spread right out. Right, what we have to hope for is that they prioritize everything wrong, and then our insanely high damaging, armor piercing missile friends can do all the work. Yeah. That's the hope. That's the hope. Okay. Also, I have to hope that they'll actually bloody well attack for once. You know, when I give them a locked group move order. I have to hope they do that. Okay, so, uh, regrowth on our Terracotta Sentinel. We need the Terracotta Sentinel to get some work done. That's for sure. Alright, you can start moving. These peasant long spear are going to be in a bad spot. That's okay. Uh, this will help the transmutation of lead once I get into combat with them all. Alright, time to transform. And then I guess we'll try and cut the head off the snake. Go straight for the Herald of Zinch, maybe? Maybe that's the way to do it? Hard to say. Uh, luckily, these guys do have great um, armor piercing, anti large, and decent mass. They should be able to bog down the soul grinders. You know, should being uh, the operative word there. Dragon Guard. Jay Crossbow. Okay, we're getting some damage in already. Which is good. Alright, go for that soul grinder, please. Yeah, we might be okay. We might be okay. Looks like that guy is miscasting. And doing terrible damage to some very expensive units while he is at it. Which is not great for me. And, okay, big damage happening up here. But we are doing big damage in kind. I'm just going to use all the abilities. Okay, we are absolutely screwing them, which is brilliant. Great news. Okay, let's start bogging down some other units. Alright, Terracotta Sentinel. Alright, peasants can keep them busy, that's fine. Okay, you got one, right? Oh my god. Oof. Yeah, things are looking pretty bad for it. Things look pretty rough. Oh my god, seriously, these guys are the worst. We're doing some great damage here, though. But yes, these chariots are just nightmarish. So hopefully, we can take them out in a hurry. Alright, that's going well. That's going well. 
Celestial sorcerer. Uh, let's buff you. Okay, good. Let's bog down that chariot. Everyone else, start shooting that guy. You shoot them, please. All right, all right. You yeah, know we're doing okay. I really thought this was gonna go worse. I mean, we almost lost Miao Yin there. Genuinely, almost lost Miao Yin. Wow. Unbelievable. They will perish. You. Oh, they're still firing, jerk. All right, go for the soul grinder, I guess. Yep, perfect. Uh, strike him with lightning, because it'll be dramatic. Oof. Oh, those army abilities. Oh, I hate him so much. It looks like we won, though. It looks like we won. I was not expecting much from this battle. Yeah, Meow Yee did bad damage. One kill, but 4,600 uh, damage dealt as gold value. That is obscene. That is so much damage. That's how expensive the stuff we were fighting was. How did you do, Terracotta Sentinel? Oh my god, please stop. <laughs> please just crumble. Please. Please just crumble. And of course it kicks us right out, because uh, there were no mortals on the field, which is really annoying, because I would love to have actually done some healing before leaving, considering how terrible our replenishment is. Because yeah, Miao Ying really needs health. All right, well, here we are with Kronos dealt with, but my god, only 2% replenishment as well. But we didn't lose any units. We must break Thank god. This. Means we have more turns for uh, recruitment. One more turn and we'll get all these guys in, and then I don't have to worry quite so much. But my god. Unbelievable. One thing I am tempted to do, though, is uh, to swap out Miao Yin for a different lord. Of a different lord. Um, control this army, and then we create a new army over here somewhere uh, that Miao Yin can then control, but then it means we have like a crazy elite army just in the middle of nowhere, and it's going to take us ages to get our Demigriff Knights back. So, you know, we can get her out of there though, because why would she stay in the Chaos Waste, right? She doesn't, she doesn't necessarily care about these guys. But maybe, maybe she's getting a bit of a soft spot with this army, you know? Maybe she's getting a bit of a soft spot. So the staff, staff of Wu Xing, created by the Jade Dragon, uh, Yuan Bao. This enchanted staff has the power to manipulate the elemental winds themselves, causing them to blow stronger or weaker on command. Uh, Silk Weaver, Jade Jet Amulet. Settlement besieged, caravan complete. Another 18k, I mean, we have so much money, so it almost doesn't matter. Uh, let's just attack you. Get out of here. Good. Uh, is that the invasion dealt with yet? Not yet. There's still still a handful. Still a handful of, of folk running around, which is fine. You know, they'll come when they're ready. Um, let's get Jade Shield and then Evasion and then Constellation of the Dragon. And um, maybe we'll get that again. It is mine by blood rights. Sure is. Now, uh, Yuran Shan Fu can get... Oh, Ancestral Warriors, maybe? They don't last very long. But... It'll be nice to have them, I suppose. Oh, and Stone Gaze we can get as well for it is the Terracotta Sentinel bonuses. We have one Terracotta Sentinel there, so it's definitely worthwhile. Obviously, Final Transmutation, all in with that. Devastatingly decent spell there. Absolutely adore it. Especially if they're going to clump up right in front of the gates like normal. Uh, what are you going to do? Nothing. That's what you're going to do. You're going to do nothing. Good. Now, what do we have building? Ready to defend. Oh, please keep building that. We need replenishment so badly. So badly. <laughs> We're getting there. We are getting there. How many turns now? Five turns until fully replenished. Eight for him, though. Uh, eight for him. It's quicker. It is quicker than it was. It was like 14 turns for one of them before. Uh, Yeti Pig's doing fine, but there is there is a a Greenskin army here, which I don't think should be. Yeah, they're going to run away. That's fine. We're going to chase them down. We're going to chase them down. Hello. Goodbye. 
Bad goblin. Bad. Venerate. Celestial and And you can head back to Yeti Peak. Brilliant. And another more shard. Very cool. And now let's level you up again, shall we? Uh magical reserves. Give me basic armor. Get a charmed shield. And I'm gonna fuse these two. What do we get? Sword of anti-heroes. That's not great. <laughs> not great. Um we do have an enchanted item slot as well. I'll give her a potion of toughness. Are the tricks to shard, maybe? Lower spell resistance? I quite like the sound of that. Cool. Okay. Uh, these guys still... Still attacking. Can you not... Oh, apparently you can. Look, defensive alliance. I can't even balance. I don't even have enough money, apparently, to bribe him. Which is annoying. Why don't you guys just attack them? Like, you know I'm gonna help you fight them. Maybe I'll send down, uh, Shuen Dongmen. I expect loyalty, efficiency, and harmony. Not sure. We do have a good army. We do have a good army here. You know, plenty of good missiles. Plenty of good missiles. And they don't really have much in the way of missiles. By much in the way of missiles, I mean they don't have any missiles. Loads of Mornfang cavalry and things, though. Like, if they want to get into our back line, they could get into our back line. Like, holy cow, they could get into our back line. Yeah, I really just want them to attack us. That, that's really what I want. Uh, you still got two more turns of exhaustion. I really didn't expect them to launch a double stack against us like this. It's, um, it's quite clever. It really is quite clever. So yeah, you can't do anything, except I guess I could just have you waltz up this way. We'll do something. Yeah, very worried about that. Um... Oh, outpost upgrade available. I can send another caravan out. I think we'll wait for Jiong Duamu. That'll do. Oh my god, they still haven't attacked. Come on, ogres. What are you playing at? Just come attack me. Why do you have to be this boring? They are just going to sit here the entire time, aren't they? They're never actually going to attack. Because the AI is just great at making people bored. That's the thing. I, I mentioned this in the Ogre Kingdoms um, campaign. I think I did anyway. I think that's the one I mentioned. Um, the way that they starve you out is the smart thing to do, but I don't want the AI to be smart. I want to facilitate my entertainment. If they do the dumb thing, that's great. If it means it's more fun for me. Because this isn't fun. This, yeah, it means I'm going to lose this army. But on the campaign map, without a fight... And the strength of this game is a big fight, right? So, <laughs> some desperate fight to try and keep your settlement. That's that's the interesting bit. If they starve you out, there's literally no fun to be had there. And the fact that they can just sit here and starve me out is because they are at such an advantage. You know, I can't, I can't dare attack them. Even if them attacking me is an instant death for them, the fact that I can't retaliate means that it's a stalemate that's going to result in boredom. Which is a problem. That's definitely a problem. They should absolutely be more eager to attack, even if it's not always a good idea. You know? If if it's impossible for you to realistically sally forth, they should attack. Even if it means starving you out for a couple of turns and then attacking. But most of the time, now it might not happen. It might not happen here, but most of the time in campaigns, you know, that I played off screen, you know, off camera, um, they've just sat here forever until I've lost the place. Um, just because it's starved out, and that's that's really boring. You know, they can attack at any point. But anyway, a bunch of settlements besieged, but I mean, it's fine. Because it's, it's just the gates. So, get out of my house. And... Get out of my house. Good. Okay, everyone's out of my house. Uh, still a bit of an invasion going on, though, apparently. Who's still going? Who is still going? Yeah, I don't see any other army from the invasion. I don't see any other army here. So that's weird. Unless there's someone, like, there might be someone with an ambush going on. That's, that's, that's a possibility, I suppose. Now, this is lovely. What should we go with? Let's go with, uh, Earthblood, because it's, it's Earthblood. It's, it's just great. Um, and then let's go with Strength of Young. And then a wall of wind of fire because that spell is hilarious. I adore it. And for Yong Swen, 
Let's go with... I mean, this is great. The, um... Actually, is it? Does this actually do fire damage? It doesn't. The wit the the wall of wind and fire doesn't do fire damage. That does. Dragon's breath does, but the wall of wind and fire doesn't do fire damage. That is very strange. I was gonna say it's brilliant for her because she's got the luminar lens. So there's a forty percent additional fire weakness for our enemies, which apparently that doesn't do anything for. Does that do fire damage? That only does magic as well. That's so weird. That can imbue fire damage for enemy for our units, though, which is pretty cool. So, I mean, not a bad idea, right? Why not? It befits my high station. Sure does. All right, then for your Anshan Fu, let's get you. I don't know, Blossom Wind, and. Oh, that's it. You only leveled up once. It my How unusual. High station. Uh, and then uh, Bei Feng Meng. Let's get magical reserves. Good. And now we have a big old army, which is fantastic. And I think it might be time to get out of here, you know? It might be time to get out of here. Okay, let's go. So we have to be careful. It's going to take us forever to move, but at some point we will end up in friendly territory. And uh, then we'll be able to replenish, and it won't be a problem. We may get attacked along the, on the road, but we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully in... in um, uh, we'll need to get actually all the way over here <laughs> to be in allied territory. Oh, no. Well, we'll get there. We'll get there, guys. How many how many settlements do the, uh, the me ox makers have? How are they doing? I think they're doing very well in terms of conquest. 13 settlements. Uh, 14 for the Disciples of the Moor. And... Wow, are they the top two, huh? Yeah, I think they might be. Oh, and 12 for the Ice Court. 8 for Karagadrin. Legion of Chaos is 7. Yeah, alright. Well, I'm not sure I've met all these guys. I haven't met the Seducers of Celestia or the Exiles of Corn, So I can't actually comment on them. But, I'm, you know, I do want to know how everyone's doing. How are we doing? 28. Okay, we're doing quite a lot better. Yeah, we're doing well. Um, right. Caravan dispatch. He's still returning. So, oh, unassigned skill points. Oh, it's our caravan master. Of course. Let's do cargo capacity. So we can send more cargo. Awesome. I'm really glad that Altdorf is somehow surviving here. I'm very glad. Also that they have some jade warriors helping them out. Which is very cool. I really wish it was, like, a, a reinforcing army, though. Like, I wish this was our army. Like, we owned those. So that way you could fight in the battles, you know, of your allies. In the same way that the, um, sort of elect account mechanic for the Empire works. Where you, you can send reinforcements to help out an allied uh, settlement. I wish that that was an event if you had an outpost there. Is it literally, if a place is attacked, you can say, oh yeah... I'll spend a bit of money and, and it'll have, like, a, a small army that can help. I think the problem is they would have had to have done that for literally every faction. And that would have been um, a bit of a nightmare, I think. But I would love to see that in future. I think that would probably be better. You know, if you have an embassy there, then you can you can call on reinforcements. I think it'd be really cool. I think that would be nicer. I think it would be a better solution. Because it meant you'd be able to have, like, a direct influence over the outcome of of your your allies... Uh, you know, being attacked, which I think would be great, rather than them just having your units and you having no say in how they're used. I think that's, um, you know, it's fine, but I'd, I'd prefer I'd prefer to be able to take control of it and to help, even if it's just a small army. I think it'd be really fun. Oh, I had an outpost upgrade available, which I have lost, so never mind. Will be obeyed. I'll see to it in a bit. And Pox Makers of Nurgle are attacking um, this random settlement that we've abandoned, which I am fine with. You you do you, dung rut. It's going to get destroyed anyway. Uh, and Greasus is attacking. Thank God. He heard my speech. Ah, oh, he heard me tell me it was boring. Also, if we all starve to death, Greasus doesn't get to eat us. We wouldn't be as plump, you know? So he has to attack us while we're still fresh. Or else it's pointless. But yeah, I'm very glad they've attacked. Just unbelievably so. 
unbelievably, because I have had several occasions where I simply haven't been able to attack them in the open field, and they have just besieged me until I have starved to death. And it's been really quite, quite pitiable, honestly. Uh, but no, this is great. This is going to be a very, very tough fight. Very tough. Wish me luck. Hey, and here we are. Marvelous. Also, I just noticed something which is really weird. Um, this map actually has... Um, maybe not identical, but basically the same layout as that uh, minor settlement for chaos that's like that big um, eight-pointed star. You know, because look, see? Do you know what I mean? It's got the four entrances. It just doesn't have the additional sort of, you know, lava moats sticking out, but it's just impassable terrain, you know, in a circle, four entrances, entrances directly in front, blocked, and then just little dots of, you know, of impassable bits of building, you know? And then, big impassable walls guarding the middle bit. It's, it's the same. It's the same, as far as I can tell. Might be a little different. Might just be they made a circle. <laughs> but who knows? God, I do love this thing. Of this watchtower. So cool. Anyway, uh, we need to plug up all the gaps, don't we? Though, plugging up all the gaps... Might not be what we're going for. Um, it might be better just to fall right back. Because reinforcements will trickle in later. Um, I am quite tempted to pull everything right back to here. So that they have to like really just funnel in because they'll get like bogged down over here they'll get bogged down this corner on this corner like if they're heading all straight for the middle in a giant group like that i think they're going to have some difficulty i think they're gonna have some difficulty in entering the place it means i can also set up some barricades which will actually stop them it, it means that their cavalry and things won't be able to just push through uh my front line and into my settlement which is a big deal. A very big deal. I think I want maybe... Although the problem there is I can't necessarily shoot over the barricades into the stuff attacking. Uh, which is then a problem. Because it means it's up to my front line to do all the work. So we've got several, several options. With several problems. So it's hard to say what's best here. I mean, we have a huge army, which is definitely, definitely going for us, you know. Definitely an advantage we have. Okay. That's all pretty good. And uh, then we have our gunners as well, which we can line up here. Okay. Let's, let's actually put you here. We'll see if we able to shoot over the top. I want to make sure that these guys are far enough back that they can essentially uh, hit here and here, depending on what's what's there, you know? Need to also make sure that we're not on the slope, actually, don't we? Or do I want to make sure these guys are on the slope? Knowing that they're probably going to be quite aggressive here. And knowing that these guys can do some good work. Alright, let's also put you here to absorb the charge, because you're cheap. I don't care if you die. Uh, plenty of magic kick it around, which is nice. My mind is ready. Um, got a terracotta sentinel, which is awesome. Don't want to get that in the way of the cannons, though. So I'll put you here. Oh, with the jade warriors. And you lot can stand here. Um, there's some jade warriors as well. We do have cavalry. Got a fair bit of cavalry. Not really sure where to put them. <laughs> yeah, not entirely sure where to put them. The Celestial Faithful. Okay. Do that. Defenders of Cathay. 
Um, well, that didn't quite work. You go there. Oh, what's your range? Yeah, they can reach into here. I just need to really bog the enemy down. Cavalry. We can use the cavalry to bog the enemy down a huge the amount. Okay, we're going to overlap them in an irritating way. Like so. Defenders It'll do. Um, you're going to have to go closer. The front here. Oh, we have more peasants that I can put in the way there. Order. We have more Balance. crane gunners. Which... I don't entirely know which way I'd want them to shoot. Um, let's actually put the range one here. Uh, oh, that's just the top one. Easy. Did you just... Oh, there we go. There we go. That might work out better. Maybe. Okay, let's put you there. Put you there. This should be a good defense. I'm confident in it. So we have those other crane gunners, which I'm not really sure where I want them. Yeah, maybe? If I put that one there, can they, they can man this. Okay. Remember, we've got firing up on the units behind, which should help. And defenders of Cathay! You can go back there. And I think we plugged up all the gaps. Did I leave anyone outside? Yes, I did. You really, really don't want to stand there. Really don't want to stand there, guy. You really... Just, nah. Crane no, 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 no. I'm not sure the crane gunners can be able to shoot over this very well. So what Where I might is do is bring these guys down the hill. Okay, I'm going to bring them down the hill. It'll buy us more time as well, so I can, like, plug them up with cavalry if I need to. Um, and then I can... Okay, I can't build that yet, but I will. Alright, and then you guys can just sit behind. And, yeah, you should be able to... Okay, a little further up. Okay, that didn't work. Something like that. Okay, now it's just you guys. Just you. Okay, something like that. So this isn't the best in terms of um, our artillery defending. But it is very good in terms of we have a terracotta sentinel here. Uh, this we can put a barricade if we need it, but we also have the cannons firing this way. Okay, I think this is about as good as we can do. It is very good, though. Uh, and we also have a volley of high arrows, which I keep forgetting about. That's nice. Got some nice abilities. Earth blood will help keep the front lines engaged. Uh, this might be a bit of a pickle, but... Iron guts. Ogre bulls. Are, yeah, mostly iron guts over there. I'm glad we've got some decent... Um, armor piercing on these guys and then just wait to fire on these but that might be might be a pickle we may need to turn the cannons around that way before long it really depends if they're going to run towards the um, barricades or not I have no idea they are but look at this but how fun is this one body, one so cool sure do so uh, unfortunately this only has barricades all of the towers are part of like the outer infrastructure so we'll have to wait and see if we can afford to build any of them. Ah, oh, that stone horn being there is a problem. But hopefully the crane gunners can do some good damage to it. I mean, God. Load of ogre bulls, more iron guts. Greasus is this side as well. It might actually be worth turning the cannons around. Just genuinely, it might be worth turning them around for now so we can shoot the uh, stone horn. Because these guys, I mean, it's ogre bulls, but like, that's it. There might be a bunch of gorges hidden around the place too, actually. I didn't pay that much attention to what there was. But yeah, getting some cannon fire into the stone horn, or even just aiming for all the ogres. So that way we can just focus fire on one thing. I think it might work out quite well. So yeah, shots coming in. Alright, we got hit to them. We killed uh, a couple of ogres there. Yeah, these cannons. We really need more of these cannons. Maybe aim for the iron guts. If you're going to be able to, I'm not sure. Oh, you shouldn't be there. You can, you can come in. Did we get any? Didn't kill any. Okay, we got one. You know, that'll do, actually. Uh, Ogre Bulls coming in. 
Alright, you can just line up. Your fault for not being inside. Uh, we're getting great damage to that stone horn. I mean, they've done a lot of damage to the peasant long spearmen, but it's peasants, who cares? This is perfect. Alright, let's fly over here. We are going to use... Uh, oh, I don't know. Damage resistance. We're going to give them 57% damage resistance. <laughs> and extra armor. Uh, extra uh, thingamajig. You know the one. These guys are going to get some great shots in. Okay, I'm going to heal them. Okay, some ooh, ogre bulls doing big damage here. We don't have a lot here. We did have the cannons, remember. Alright, Iron Guts are pushing in. Nothing wants to push in this way. Which is uh, good or bad? I don't know. One or the other. Certainly one of those. Okay, you guys need to keep shooting. Come on, you've got to be shooting. Okay, good. They are getting some shots in. Really not enough, though. Really not enough. They should be shooting more. So let's buff the Celestial Dragon Guard. And now they are doing uh, a lot of damage. Very high melee attack. You guys, come on. How are you not shooting? How are you not shooting these guys? I mean, look. They're right there. I don't know how they don't have line of sight on the slope. It really feels like they should. Okay, now they're starting to shoot, but it's not its not great, is it? Really not. Um, Alright, you guys need to push in. This is troubling. Alright, I can just turn. That'll do. You guys can stay there for now. More units are coming. A lot more are coming. And I guess you're done there, so you could turn about again. I think you're going to need to, thanks to this. Oof. Nothing is attacking this way, which is perfect. Uh, we've got units retreating over here. These guys just aren't shooting, are they? They're just not shooting. Madness. Absolute madness. Uh, oh, Noblars are on their way. Oh, you chase them down. You too. Jade Warriors. You come up this way. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Yeah, just our iron... Uh, iron Hell Gunners. Not shooting. Not shooting anything. Alright, we're doing well over here, though. Although, we've got Mournfang Cavalry coming in now. That's gonna sting. That's gonna sting, alright. How are you lot doing? More Mournfang Cavalry incoming. Stone and steel. I don't know. Get out of there. Come on. Pull back. Okay, now you guys are shooting. So we've got all the cavalry that can plug up some gaps, but we do need these guys to keep shooting. Alright, shoot what you can. And he's just coming. Uh, you're still going, somehow. Breeze is still on the move. Alright, we're getting good damage into here. Alright, let's pull some more halberds back over here. Let's heal these guys. Uh, let's <laughs> buff these peasants. Alright, this is going okay. It's not great. But it could certainly be worse, couldn't it? Right, go for the Mournfang Cavalry. Now, could I? I could lower their armor, I suppose. Yeah, let's get them with a the, with the Searing Doom. I think they'll do well. Alright, there's a Slaughter Master coming in. It's an Iron Guts. Alright, get some more magic, please. We're very low on magic. Okay, good. Okay, good, we did it. We did all the things. Not all the things. There's still a lot coming, isn't there? Reese still hasn't made his mind up of what he's going to do. We're dealing with these Noblars. But, oh, Gorges are on their way. Well, that's no good. Build a barricade there. So it seems we can build towers, you know. It seems they're not bothering to take over any territories, so... Let's build a tower. Ooh, this is... a problem. Yep, they're just going to keep pushing through, because that's what they do. Ah, oh, such jerks. 
What are you doing? No one's moving to where I tell them to move these days. It's very frustrating. Ooh, more of these guys coming in. That's no good. This this is going to hurt, isn't it? But, but, these iron hell are bothering to shoot things now, so that's good news. Oh my god, move! Move forwards! What is your problem? <laughs> Looks like we're going to win, though. Doesn't like we're going to win. Okay, might of heavens. That's the wrong one. What was I thinking about? Oh, I was thinking Constellation of the Dragon. Yeah, we, we can't afford that. Uh, could use a dragon's breath over here, though. What are you guys doing? I didn't beat you on guard mode, did I? Oh, I'm very silly. Now ah, things going over here. You guys are still alive somehow. I don't quite understand how. But that's okay. Grisus is just chilling. Uh, Ogre Bulls are coming in to try and deal with that. You guys have turned around again. What is wrong with my Iron Hail Gunners? They just keep randomly turning around. Yeah, it looks like we won. Definitely took some punishment, though. A few places they've almost broken in, but... Yeah, it seems they uh, Defenders of weren't quite ready for it. Uh, the gorges, yeah, the gorges are unbreakable. It's only the one Marching unit though. One. That's not so bad. Whatever is required. Okay, Marching stay up there, and uh, it's time for you guys to go attack. Okay, gorges aren't going to do so well against uh, cavalry. At least they shouldn't do so well against cavalry. All right, go get them, you guys. Retreat. <laughs> Grease is running away. Silly pickle. So how did you guys do, Grand Cannons? 2,664 damage value. 20,000 damage. Very nice. Alright, let's get you over here too. Just keep keep on running. You guys are poor at this. You guys are very poor at this. Please keep moving. And now they're running back. Oh my god, come on! Sissy, like large unit sizes? Well... Uh, ultra unit sizes in in settlement sizes like this, you know, with all these narrow pastures. Oh my god! Just sometimes, just just trying to move down a corridor is is a nightmare. Okay, let's heal and let's stand aground. And um, I suppose that'll do. Eh? We should should get rid of these guys pretty quick. Just buff someone. How are you guys doing? This sort of poking them occasionally. Doesn't feel like the heroic charge, but I mean, it's getting the job done. It's getting the job done. Also, I love that they glow. When they got that buff. It's a nice looking buff. Cool. And, and that tower has done very well. We should have built that sooner. I just wasn't expecting to have any of the tower slots. I really wasn't. So how did you do in the end, anyway? Five kills, yet yeah, almost nothing. You did literally nothing. How about you? Yeah, nope. Iron Hell Gunners did a terrible job. They just did not have line of sight. And whenever they did, they would just randomly look to one side or get an ogre in them. Alright, come on. I'd cycle charge, but I'm not. I'm not going to try and maneuver in this space. It's just not worth it. Okay. Very cool. I gotta say, the Dragon Blooded Shugan Gun. I love that they actually have some sort of magic as a part of their um, just like melee attack. Like animations, they look great. It's really intense. It's like shooting a laser beam out of your hands. Ooh, and that was cool too. There we go. Good job. Alright, we did it. That was a tough one. That was a tough one. All right, jobs are good. And we did lose one unit of Jade Warriors, but honestly, that went really well. That went really well, considering what we're up against. Uh, also, we got an Ogre Blade. <laughs> the Ogre Blade was used by Chaos Dwarves to tame the kingdoms amongst the Mountains of Morn. How it came to the Old World is a mystery. It's not in the Old World, it's in the Mountains of Morn. Silly. Silly. They need to update this. But yeah, no, that went really well. We killed most of their best units there. You know, all of the Iron Guts stayed to the last. Yeah, that went really well. Amazingly, the stone horn actually escaped before it was killed. But, God, I'm so disappointed in our Iron Hail Gunners. They just don't like the terrain here, it would seem. You know, they don't like shooting over the heads of people on those slopes at all. Which is a big problem, because 
you guys might remember, I said, oh, I'll get rid of those peasant archers. I'll get iron hail gunners. They'll be really good. Nah, not so much. Would have been better just with some more jade warrior crossbowmen. But it's the thought that counts. Uh, let's venerate, because that replenishment is very nice. Slave in body, but never in so, settlement sacked. Doesn't matter, because it just got abandoned. Oh, and we defeated Greasus. Income from trade, plus 10%. That's a big deal. Awesome. An income from all buildings, plus 8%. Lovely. Very nice. Like all tyrants, in the end, Greasus' gold tooth proved to be nothing but a massive bag of hot air and empty threats. And beef? Courage can often separate the good from the truly great. Now we discovered an ambusher, apparently. And, oh no, Ropsman clan. Ah, oh, you finally got defeated by old... Uh, old ice balls. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Got an imminent rebellion. Uh, oh, there's the shall roar again. Fates warns that a roar from Urson is coming. Prepare your armies to defend from demonic incursion. Gird your most powerful army to travel across the void and into the realm of chaos. Our most powerful army is still Roar stuck in... Come soon. Yeah, yes, um, yeah, our, our best army is still just sort of stranded in the chaos wastes, um, which isn't ideal. I might just double time it, because we're not going to suffer attrition here. So we'll just get out of the area we can suffer attrition and we'll get into allied territory. We may have to jump into a, a rift in enemy territory, you know. But I would like to try and get... Not in enemy territory, in allied territory. I would like to get home, though. Though Lothar is going to be a problem, isn't he? Lothar. Lothar. Interesting to see some uh, Chaos Warriors, though. You know? Interesting to see a Chaos Warrior faction just hanging out in there. Very cool. And in Blood Peak, no less. Suits them. Do some real good. So, we are now in Young 2. Because uh, we obviously lost uh, this building. I don't know why it didn't abandon. I guess because it got attacked that it cancelled the abandon order? I don't know. That's fine. Um, but yeah, we're going to need to convert a building. And build another building. So we need another Yin building. So remember, you can actually convert buildings. It's the stupidest thing. So, so dumb. Um, so let's do that, the Vale of Titans, and then we will build another Yin building. I guess this one. Brilliant. And that should do it. That should do it. Offspring of and if it doesn't, then I'm an idiot. Cool. I'm glad we could Good all agree. Uh, okay, so this is where I'm actually going to end the episode, because this is the time that the episode ends. I know. I know. Crazy, right? So anyway, guys, uh, it's been fun, though. We, we did some decent battles there. There's a couple of battles I was just expecting to lose. It's battles I'd never put myself in. Um, unless, you know, unless I was forced into it. But I was forced into it, and we rose to the challenge. So that's fun. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.